VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, and it refers to a method of creating a private or encrypted communications path between two devices, even if those two devices may be going over the public internet, which anyone could have access to anywhere in between that data path. The virtual private network is a communications path that's set up where all of the data is encrypted. Even if somebody was to tap into that connection, all they would see was garbage. They would have no idea what type of information is going back and forth between those two devices. This is often accomplished by using something called a VPN concentrator. This is a piece of hardware, and it's designed to do a lot of the encrypting and decrypting of getting that information on and off of the public network. Encrypting traffic and decrypting traffic is a very CPU intense type of application. It's something that uses a lot of CPU cycles. It's something that is very, very difficult to do over a very large scale. So it makes sense to use specialized hardware. In very large environments, you would use something like a VPN concentrator. Sometimes your environment's relatively small, and you can load up specialized software that simply use the built-in hardware that's in our computers. You might put your VPN concentrator software onto a centralized server, for instance. And if you're in an environment that does not have a lot of users, having a software-based VPN concentrator may work for you. To use the VPN concentrator, you're going to need some type of software, some client software on the workstation or on the two devices that will be communicating with each other. This software is something that may come with the concentrator. It may be a third-party piece of software that you have to install. Or your operating system itself may have the software built into it to allow communications to that VPN concentrator. It simply depends on the method that you're using to communicate and the type of concentrator that you're using. From the end user's perspective, using a VPN concentrator is pretty simple. You might be out at a coffee shop, and then you realize you need access to a file that's inside of your network back at corporate. And it's something that you don't have access to when you're out in public. It's also very sensitive data, so you don't want anybody seeing that information. You would start the VPN software on your workstation, and it creates what we call an encrypted tunnel back to the VPN concentrator. All of the communication going back and forth between those two connections is completely encrypted. The VPN concentrator takes that information, decrypts it, and then passes it off into the internal network. Everything on the internal network is obviously not encrypted because that's your local network. There's no need to encrypt within your building. And this is the process that takes place as the non-encrypted in the clear data is sent out to the concentrator. The concentrator then encrypts it and sends it across the public internet to your local computer. And the local computer client software will decrypt that information and present it to you on the screen or save the file to your hard drive. When you're finished with the connection, you turn off your client software. It severs the connection to that concentrator. And now you're using the network normally again. If you have a lot of mobile devices, you have a laptop, you're traveling constantly, then you'll find that using a VPN connection with a VPN concentrator is going to ensure that all of your communication is absolutely secure.